What's up guys? Today's video we are eating Cheesecake Factory dishes that I have never tried before. I am so excited about this video because Cheesecake Factory is always so delicious. If you know Cheesecake, you know their menu is absolutely huge. There are so many dishes that I have yet to try there, so I tried to pick out some dishes that looked really yummy and would be fun to try. I did already place my order online, so I will see you guys over at Cheesecake Factory. Alright you guys, we've made it to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm gonna go ahead and pop inside to pick up my order. I thought it was curbside pickup, but I think I got to go in. Ooh, they got pumpkin cheesecake. All right, you guys, we have secured our Cheesecake Factory bags, and I am so excited to dive into this and see what we got. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of the bag, and I will show you it and kind of explain what it is. Okay, so first thing we got, I think this is fried corn, but let me see. Okay, so here's the first item that we got, and this is the street corn. So it says that this is fire roasted corn ribs with Parmesan, chili lime mayonnaise, and cilantro. Oh, it looks so, so, so good. I've always wanted to try the corn from Wingstop, but every time I go to Wingstop, I always forget to order it. So when I saw Cheesecake Factory had corn, I was like, oh yes, I've got to try this. Okay, then we have, oh, this is the entree. Let me show that to you guys after this next dish. This is the chicken pot stickers. Here are the chicken pot stickers. These also look super delicious. These would probably look a lot better in the restaurant on a plate instead of a takeout tray, but it's all good. Okay, so the chicken pot stickers. It says these are Asian dumplings pan fried in the classic tradition. What is classic tradition? I don't know. Served with our soy ginger sesame sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these. Okay, now for the entree. How amazing does this look? I had to get pasta. Usually I don't get pasta from Cheesecake Factory. I really love their shepherd's pie, or I think it's called like the chicken Madeira. I think that's what it's called. I love that. The chicken piccata, so good. But I thought instead of getting a chicken dish, we would try something new, and that's this pasta. Okay, so spicy rigatoni vodka pasta. It says this is rigatoni pasta, Italian cherry tomatoes, Parmesan, fresh basil, and pancetta tossed with spicy vodka sauce. So I actually made Steph Papa's vodka pasta at home one time, and it was so delicious. And ever since I tried that, I always, always get vodka pasta if i see it out i'm like yes i gotta have it because that vodka sauce is so good will this be as good as some homemade vodka pasta i don't know we'll see it looks really good so i have high hopes for it and don't worry we also got a cheesecake which i will show you guys after i'm gonna kind of munch on this first and then we'll dive into the dessert i could not come to cheesecake factory and not get cheesecake okay what do i want to try first i think i'm gonna do the fried corn first because that is calling my name. Also, I don't know if this lighting is the best. I try to park in the shade because the sun is like, yeah, you can't escape it. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, before it's not working, let's just dive into it with our fingers. Wow, okay, flavor. Flavor's on point. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the inside like rib part of the corn. <laughs> I thought you were, but it's kind of tough right there. I think you're just supposed to eat it like a rib. <laughs> These are so good. Like the flavor. Oh my gosh, that flavor is amazing. It feels like I'm eating chicken wings with these, but it's not, it's corn. I do wish the whole thing was edible, but besides that, I'd probably give these like a nine out of 10. Mm. Let me put my bag right here so you guys can see a little bit of the, make it a little bit more festive with the logo. I feel like that looks better, but now you can't see my little boo in the background. Would you rather see boo or would you rather see Cheesecake Factory logo? I don't know. <laughs> Anything that I try in this video, let me know if you guys have had it before. 
There's just so much at Cheesecake Factory. It was so hard to choose. This is very Parmesan-y. So if you like Parmesan, you'd really like this. It's like a Parmesan-y garlic butter kind of taste. Okay, I'm gonna eat one more of these and then we're gonna dive into these pot stickers. Cheesecake Factory was actually super busy. I'm filming this video at lunchtime, it's like 12.30 and Cheesecake Factory is actually super busy right now. I was kind of surprised. Okay, so that corn was legit. I feel like that is a major sleeper on their menu because that was actually so delicious. Now we are going to try some of these pot stickers. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce here. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, does this put that corn to shame? I don't know, it may. These are amazing. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite appetizer is at Cheesecake Factory. Cause like I said, there's just so much to choose from. I really didn't know what to get. I got the corn again cause the one at Wingstop always looks so good. And I feel like you can never go wrong with pot stickers. Mm. It was amazing. And the sauce, the sauce is so good. Wow. I feel like I'm not too bad at describing flavors of fast food items, but when it comes to restaurants, I always struggle. Um, I don't know. The sauce is salty. <laughs> I don't know what else to really say about it. Those are super good though. I would definitely get those again. Did I already rank that? I'd give those a 10 out of 10. Like 10 out of 10 for the pot stickers for sure. They also have these new fried shrimp that are tossed in the sauce. They kind of remind me of the bang bang shrimp from Bonefish Grill. If you guys have ever had the bang bang shrimp at Bonefish Grill, those are so amazing. Cheesecake Factory kind of has a variation of those and those looked really good. I kind of wanted to try those, but I got the pot stickers instead. Time to dig into this pasta. Let's try this. I'm so excited. I hope this doesn't disappoint me. Hmm. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I will say after making homemade vodka pasta, that is so good. This definitely does not compare. Like the recipe that I got from Steph Papa's, it has a very unique flavor to it and I think it comes from the vodka. This just kind of tastes like marinara sauce. Again, it's not bad, like this is good, but it does not compete with that homemade pasta. <laughs> that is so much better. I wonder if they gave me any rolls. I think they did. I feel like some garlic bread would be super good with this pasta. Ooh. Okay, we got some classic white bread. And then we also got the brown bread. I don't know what this is called. If anyone knows, <laughs> let me know. I actually really like this bread. This bread's pretty good. Let's try it dipped in this sauce. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try the white bread now. See, what I like about making pasta at home is you can make as much sauce as you want. That way you can make it super saucy. This, we need some more sauce. Mmm. Okay, I will say the bread that I had at Bonefish Grill, and I'm only comparing it to Bonefish Grill because I had Bonefish Grill like a few weeks ago with Gabe's family. Their bread is so amazing. It's so tender. 
absolutely delicious. Cheesecake Factory's bread is a bit harder. Not that that's a bad thing. A lot of people, I guess, prefer the harder bread. Let me know what your guys' favorite pasta dish is at Cheesecake Factory. They have so many pasta dishes, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's so hard to choose. Also, you guys, I rewatched the Halloween Town movies, all four of them. They are so good. If y'all have not watched Halloween Town, you need to. It is such a classic. I remember watching it when I was like, I don't know, probably was like five years old. And I've honestly watched it almost every year since then. I don't think I've watched it the last few years, but it's definitely that Halloween series that I try to watch every year. And they've been streaming them live on YouTube, so if you want to watch them, it's pretty much always live on YouTube. Um, I just streamed it on my TV. And yeah, I just love the Halloween Town movies. They're so good. So, like, they give you that true nostalgic Halloween vibe. I also rewatched Twitches, the first and the second one. I love Twitches. Twitches is like that good, classic, charming Halloween feel. Such a good movie. Both of them are really good. And then what else have I watched? We've watched a few like scary movies. Well, not really scary. We watched Talk To Me, which was pretty good. It wasn't scary, but it was good. And I actually found out that that movie was produced by YouTubers. These like really big YouTubers, I think in some country that make documentaries, they actually produced that movie, which was pretty cool. Ooh, Gabe and I have also been watching a show on Netflix. It's so good. A lot of you have probably seen it already or are currently watching it. And it's The Fall of the House of Usher. So, so, so good. It's not scary to me, but if you get scared easily, I think you'd be in for a real treat because there's a lot of good jump scares. I will say it took me like two episodes to get into it, but... Once I got into it, I was absolutely hooked. Okay, for this pasta, I think I would give this a 7 out of 10. It's not bad at all. I think it would be a lot better if you ate it fresh in the restaurant. It just tastes like a regular marinara pasta to me. I don't really taste like vodka sauce, but it's still good. I mean, as long as a pasta has flavor, I feel like you can't really go wrong with pasta. There's this one restaurant in our town that Gabe really likes for some reason. I don't know why. Their pasta does not have any flavor at all. I think he likes it because they give you huge portions. <laughs> So he likes how big the plate is, which is good. But when pasta doesn't have any flavor, it's not the best. Oh, my camera. My camera is about to cut off, but I fixed it. Okay, I'm going to dive into one more of these pot stickers because these things are so good. And then I think I'm going to bust out that cheesecake because I need something sweet. And I'm starting to get a little full. <laughs> These pot stickers are honestly so much better than anything I've even had from like a Japanese restaurant. Or Thai. I guess dumplings are more of a Thai thing than Japanese. I don't know. Where did dumplings originate? I'm not sure. I feel like so many different cuisines have dumplings. They just have their different kind of dumpling. I thought Momo's were Indian, but a lot of people commented on my video when I tried them saying that they're actually Nepalese, and I'm like, okay, I can't keep up, but good to know. <laughs> okay, so best thing that we've had out of all of this is, shoot, my camera, 
Best thing that we've had, definitely the uh, street corn. The street corn is so, so, so good. And then the pot stickers. I would definitely get those again for appetizers. For the pasta, I mean, if you just want like a marinara pasta, this is good. I just don't taste the, like, what vodka sauce is supposed to taste like. I'm not getting that. The thing with Cheesecake Factory, though, is because their menu is so big, not everything is going to be a banger. You know, some stuff is going to be like a, a 6 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10. Not everything is going to be amazing, but I feel like most of the stuff on their menu is pretty good. I don't know. All right, you guys, it's now time to try our cheesecake. I have actually only ever had a few cheesecakes from Cheesecake Factory. Usually I get their gluten-free cheesecake, which is pretty good. It tastes just like a normal New York style cheesecake. And then I think I've had also the regular cheesecake. So not the gluten-free kind, but just the, the regular classic cheesecake. I had a cheesecake in a video where I did Cheesecake Factory. And I think that was the lemon meringue cheesecake. That one was really good. Um, obviously I couldn't get that one again because I'm doing dishes I've never tried before, but that one is amazing. Okay, so this one is the Cinnabon Cinnamon Swirl Cheesecake. It says it has layers of Cinnabon Cinnamon Cheesecake and Vanilla Crunch Cake topped with cream cheese frosting and caramel. Based on the picture, this looked really good, and I love Cinnabon. We're actually getting a new cinnamon restaurant. Cinnamon restaurant. <laughs> yep, they just sell cinnamon. A, a cinnamon... Are they, what are they called? Like not Cinnabon, but Cinnamon Buns. I think that's like the actual name of them, Cinnamon Buns. We're getting a gourmet Cinnamon Buns restaurant in my town. And it's funny because it's actually going to be right beside of the crumble cookies. But I really want to try it because I do love me some Cinnamon Buns. Growing up, my mom would always make Cinnamon Buns for breakfast and they are so good. It must be a childhood thing why I like Cinnamon Buns so much. Okay, here is our cheesecake. This thing is massive. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I am so excited to try this after eating all of those other dishes. Something sweet is going to be amazing right now. This looks dangerous. I think this was like 1,400 calories for the whole slice. <laughs> Whew. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta say this is pretty good. I will say it tastes more of a cinnamon bun than it does cheesecake. This is completely different than a classic cheesecake. But honestly, this is really good. Wow. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Only because it's a lot of frosting and I would say kind of like a custard. What did it say that it had? Topped with cream cheese frosting. Okay, that cream cheese frosting is thick. Like thick, thick. So you're getting a lot of frosting on this and I don't like frosting. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not a frosting person. So I think because it has a lot of frosting on it, I'm not like, wow, this is amazing. I would definitely get this cheesecake again, but I do like the cinnamon part of it. Ooh, it has little crumbles on there. I wanna try that part. Mmm. Okay, the part with the little crumbly bits, that is amazing. Okay, that is a solid cheesecake. I don't mean to sound like a hater. I just, I'm not a big fan of frosting. So that one has a lot of frosting on it. Just so you guys know. I just try to be honest with my reviews. That way, like, if you guys can relate with me, you know what the deal is. I'm not trying to be negative. Because I got one comment saying that I was a very negative person. And I'm like, it's a food review. <laughs> if anything, I'm just being a critic. I'm not being negative. I'm just trying to give you guys my honest opinion of how I feel about it. Overall, this was pretty delicious. Cheesecake Factory did not disappoint. The corn and those pot stickers, absolutely amazing. The pasta was pretty decent. I'd probably only get that if I was like super hungry and there wasn't anything else on the menu. I think if I eat it leftover and heat it up, it'll be solid because leftover pasta... 
leftover pasta heat up I feel like is even better than whenever you first cook it I don't know is it I feel like it kind of is because the flavors are able to really like sit there and kind of marinate so it just has so much more flavor so I think that pasta will actually be super good leftover and then the cheesecake I mean it's sweet it tastes like a cinnamon cinnamon cheesecake so you really can't go wrong with it it's pretty tasty but yeah you guys that was trying some cheesecake factory dishes that I have never tried before let me know down in the comment section what you like at cheesecake factory and maybe we can do this again someday in the future and I can get your guys's suggestions let me know if you want to see another restaurant like this or I can just keep doing fast food. I don't know, whatever you guys prefer. But I love you guys so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.